All right, welcome back to Silesia Build a Nation, where we answer the question, blah, blah, blah. I got a couple things to show you, though, before we jump into our games, because we've had youth intake. And we got one spicy little guy coming in, elite talent goalkeeper Marcin Kowalczyk. One and a half star, five star potential. Let's take a look at this boy. Yeah, we're not great, so he's not great. One first touch, four passing, five throwing, five anticipation, five command of area, three acceleration. I mean, he's only 15, but I'll gladly take him in as a backup. Uh, the other players don't really look that good either. This winger looks trash. This Hoffman guy looks okay, but he's really slow. But that's pretty cool. With the youth intake, the other big thing going on in five days' time, which I'll simulate ahead to, is the draw for the European Football Championship. Oh, and there's some big news with the playoffs, by the way, because we are keeping an eye on those, seeing whether or not England or Spain made it through, because one of those teams wasn't going to make it. And the answer is... England beat Spain 3-1. to one. We can look at all the playoffs here. Got through Iceland. Spain got through Wales. They played each other. Hilarious. One of those two teams isn't in the Euros. I was hoping it was going to be England. Because reasons. Uh, Sweden beat Slovakia. Went on to play Bulgaria, who beat Ireland. Sweden gets through, so they get the spot. And then from our group, Northern Ireland beat Latvia. And Moldova beat Estonia, and Northern Ireland gets through. So Northern Ireland, Sweden, and England are the teams in the Euros. The draw is in five days' time. I don't have any games in between. We'll be right back for that draw, and we'll see who we get to play. Okay, we're back at the draw. A couple things happened in the interim, though. I'm kind of an idiot, and I went ahead and allowed them to sign way too many youth players. We signed all these guys. I thought they would only sign just like the top five or six or whatever, but apparently we just wanted to fill out our under-19 squad and look at the wages they're on. So now we're struggling to work within the payroll budget because we're well over our payroll. I mean, next season's budget is supposed to be 513 k so we're probably going to be okay in terms of my job because we're on an A+. Plus. This is required, but, you know, once we win the league or, you know, get promotion, that should probably clear up and not be an issue, but oops, we signed way too many people. Uh, the other thing is that our 41-year-old left-back center back, who is already planning to retire, went ahead and broke his hip. So he's out four to seven months. He's probably just going to call it quits. So that's good. But we're anyways, we're on to the European Championship draw. It takes place in Germany. Defending champions are Italy. Favorites are Germany. I'd love to get Kosovo, Scotland, or a crack at Poland again. That'd be great. We're fourth for the draw. Let's go ahead and jump in and see how we do. All right, so pot one is Croatia, France, Germany, Italy, Portugal, Switzerland. I think this might be the case where it just, this is pot one, two, three, four, uh, actually I'm not sure, because there's six groups. But anyway, pot two, you got Belgium, Czechia, Denmark, Poland, Scotland, Serbia. Pot three, Austria, Hungary, Kosovo, Netherlands, Norway, Ukraine, and pot four is Bosnia-Herzegovina, England, Northern Ireland, us, Sweden, and Turkey. Notably, no Spain. All right, let's get it. Let's get it going. Let's see where we end up. Group A, Germany, of course. Group B is going to be France. Group C. 
Portugal. Group D, Croatia. So ideally we would want Group D as of right now. Group E, yeah, either Croatia or Switzerland. Italy ends up in Group E. And Group F is Switzerland. So D or F, Pot 2, Germany, and Belgium. Please no. France and... Serbia, okay, we could play with Serbia maybe, Portugal and Czechia, Group D, Croatia, Scotland, Croatia, Poland, we definitely want Group D, even though Poland just spanked us 3-1, Italy, Denmark, and Group E, Group F, Switzerland, and Scotland. All right, Germany, Belgium, Hungary. Okay, not a very easy group. France, Serbia, and Netherlands. All right, Group B looks pretty tough, too. No A or B, please. Group C, Portugal, Czechia, and Austria. Okay, still pretty tough. Group D, come on, Kosovo. Croatia, Poland, Kosovo. Please give us Group D. Italy, Denmark, and Norway, woof, Switzerland, Scotland, and Ukraine. All right, we're going to pause it. So, definitely not A, not B. Yeah, okay, C might be all right. Can maybe get results off of Czechia or Austria. Definitely Group D is the easiest one. Italy, Denmark, Norway. That one's tough. Switzerland, Scotland, Ukraine? Yeah, I'd take Group F, too. Pot 4, so obviously we don't have to play England, so that's good. Northern Ireland was in our group. Qualification group. All right, let's just see how it goes. Group A. Please no. England. Germany, Belgium, England. You'll love it. France, Serbia, Netherlands, not us, not us, not us, not us. Northern Ireland. Group C, if we can dodge this one, I'd be very happy too. Bosnia, Herzegovina, here we go. Group T. Group T, Croatia, Poland, Kosovo, Silesia. Oh, Sweden. Italy, Denmark, Norway, not us. Turkey, 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 Silesia, no. Well, we already beat Denmark once. Switzerland, Scotland, Ukraine, and Turkey in Group F, and that is that. We are in a group with Italy, Denmark, Erling Holland, and us. Oh boy. We're ranked 96th, Norway's 42nd, Italy's 6th, Denmark is 21st. Well, it was fun qualifying. That's a tough draw, though. I don't know if we'll be able to make it through. We did beat Denmark one time, but they spanked us in Copenhagen. Norway has Erling Holland, and Italy is Italy. So, whatever. We made it, and Spain didn't. So, there's the draw. All right, we'll kick on now, and then we'll get to uh, winning the league here, and then maybe the cup. We're going for the double. All right, we're back in. Let's see if we can go beat... Petr Kovica there and win the league. That's what we're all about today. We're up four points on Polonia Bitum. They play Jastrebia, who's fifth. And their last game is against Piast Zmigorod, who's third. All we got to do is win one of our next two games or hope that they drop points. And we are champions. So let's go see what we can do. Couple injuries. Nowak is back, so he's straight in. Uh, Warzyniak on the bench, for sure. Pizarchuk on the bench, for sure. Mitzel's going to be out for the rest of the season. Musialek's going to be out for a bit. Couple great out players I don't really need to worry about. That should be that. 
Maybe Magdiac comes back in for Rana since they have the partnership. And we're going to start Vanda, even though Warginiac's back. Haresh definitely comes in, though. Haresh and Marchevka up top. And that is going to be our team. I don't know if I want to start Kalinsky. Don't I have? Yeah, Tragic comes in for sure. All right, let's make it happen. First chance for silverware, we could potentially win the double in our first season. Come on, lads, win this one for the fans and seal the title for us. Nice, they actually liked that. Players concerned about fans? Only in the second division in Silesia. All right, we'll keep an eye on that Polonia Bitum game. We got an early corner here, though. Comes out to Colossa, heads it over the bar. This is an away game. Petr Kavica made it to the semifinals of the FA Cup and lost to Rukhortsov. Kind of nervous here. We might, we might be lifting the trophy today. Let's not get ahead of ourselves though. We got to win this game. Tragic, good tackle. They continue forward though, down the right wing. Crosses in, header there. Nowak doesn't like to come out for those for some reason. I wish he would. Jmigrod's up one 0 on Hulushin. Here we go, Robel, free kick to Nidvijecki. Takes a shot, it deflects in off Gabriel Afonso. It looks like he's offside though. Doesn't count. Oh, was he offside? Didn't, he just went, mm, boshed that in off his head. Was he off though, was he off? Oh, we don't have VAR in the second division. It is in the Premier League though. The cup final is a home game, too, by the way. Nidvijecki, he heads it. Haresh crosses in, just takes the shot. He's offside, though. Two disallowed goals early. Thought the right side center back kept him on. No, he's well off. Good finish. But it won't count. Let's just encourage the boys. We're doing good. Thirty minutes in. The game's been mostly us. Decent ratings. It's like we're probably just gonna go. No, we got a corner before halftime. Robo whips it in. Colossa. He's the man in the air. Aerial threat, but it doesn't work out this time, and we go into halftime without a shot on target, but two disallowed goals. We simply have to be better in front of goal. I need you to step up. You have the ability. You've not been good enough in the final third. Let's work this ball in the box. And I think that's going to do for now. Anybody I want to bring in? Uh, Vanda's motivated, so I like that. Probably bring in Warginiak, though. Watch Yachowski. Plony Bittum's not winning their game, though. So as results stand, we would win the title. Robel. Tracic. Can he find somebody in the box? Play it out wide. Plays Nidvijecki through. His shot goes wide.
Colonia Bittum hasn't scored. 70 minutes will make a change. Estrebia has an injury, it looks like. Got a couple nervous players. Nervous about winning the title. Need Vietchki doesn't. Yeah, we, you know what, Pizarchuk. Oh, he's my under 21 player. Okay, Orginiak for Vanda. Go win us the title. I need Vietchki for Pizarchuk. And Wachachowski for Marchevka. Get out. Make the difference. Get us the win. Get us the title. Encourage. Eightieth minute. Pizarchuk picks it up. Can he play him through? He had him. Decided not to play it though. Takes it out for a cross. Falls back in, and Petr Kovic is on the ball. I don't like the looks of this. Close down. Good. Gabriel Alfonso picks it up. Good. Robel. Tracic. Orzhiniak now. What can he do? Last great act before he leaves the club. Pizarchuk in the box. He's through. It's a goal. one nothing. Pizarchuk gets the goal. His seventh of the season. The right back. Made right winger. And we're up 1-0. I think the title might be ours. First bit of silverware coming our way. If we can close this one out. Resch hasn't played very good today. Probably take him out. Oh, we do get to see a tight offside replay this time. Great. Polonia Batum still hasn't scored. Five minutes left here. Everybody's nervous. So we'll get rid of some nervous guys here. We'll bring... Yeah, that's fine. Rana in. Shalinsky's nervous, I don't care. And we'll save that sub for time wasting. Go instruct... Well, let's see what happens here. Ends up at the feet of Warginiak. Takes it to the corner. Can he cut inside? Just takes it on his own, takes a shot. Straight at Eckel. Let's make a last little substitution here. Haresh for Chelinski. Let's go cautious. Drop the lines a little bit. Don't worry about countering. And waste that time. There you go. Make me proud. Fire him up. With a minute left, title's ours. We won it. First piece of silverware, Schlesevratzov. Wearing the all reds today in Perkovitsa's ground. One season, one title. We're promoted. Can we do the double? Can we qualify for Europe? That's the big question. And second division confetti. Let's go. Nice. Nice of them to have the confetti ready for us in Petr Kreitz's ground. And nice of them to hang out in the stands too and watch us celebrate. You'll love to see it. Champions, time to celebrate. You won a domestic league title, Polonia Bitum. It didn't matter what we did because they drew. So a draw would have seen us win anyways, but I like the Pizarchuk goal. The playoff race looks like it's just about sealed up. Could be between Ribnik and Burzig, but these are the four teams that'll play for a playoff spot. And we can go ahead and just look real quick at the top division because I think they only have one game left, two games left. Bonakostrov is at the top. Schlosk Wrocław has completely fallen apart. Look at that. Terrible run of games, but they could still finish as champions with results elsewhere. Looks like Odra Opola is relegated. It'd be hilarious if Trobri got relegated because that would mean Warzyniak is back in the second division. But 
Coming up, we have the FA Cup Final against Rukhartsov. So we'll go ahead and do the double today. We'll see if we can win it. But it's 10 days from now, so I'll have to take care of some emails and stuff like that. But we'll be right back. All right, it's Cup Final time. Schleza versus Rukhartsov for a chance to play in Europe. We're going balanced. Team's ready. Trechik picked up an injury. So he's not back for two days. They're still going to put him on the bench. Kalinsky's going to start in his place. Probably bring Trachik in anyways because he's basically the distributor out of the midfield. Uh, Musial looks injured. He failed his fitness test. It's still rather potentially play him rather than Lasovsky. But needs Vyachki's done pretty well for himself. I think we're ready to go out and try and get this thing done. I'm going to start Warzhiniak. Instead of Vanda, just because he produces so much more. The young goalkeeper gets the number 30. And we are going to try and win the cup as a second division side. We play at home. We're on better form than they are. Hmm. Yeah, carry in, carry in your performance. I like that one. Most people are pretty happy. They play this kind of five at the back system, wide system. I haven't really played against this too much, but we'll see how we do here. Cup final at home. As we walk through the Harry Potter wall, out onto the field against Rukhortsov. Early defensive corner. Starzinski whips it in near post. Good save from Nowak. Nobody's there, though. We do get the defensive header away. Everybody's in defense in the box. Close call early. So if we can shut him down. Stechik makes a nice turn, though. So we can get a tackle in here. Nope. Stoski's got some room, plays it out wide. Drugosh. Trying to work the ball in the box here. Drugosh crosses in, finds the foot of Stechik, and we're down 1 0. Not a great start. A little daisy cutter here. Nobody gets a foot on it. No way I can't see it. Robo with the free kick though. Takes it. Bielecki makes the save. Looks like that one's going wide, but we'll take the corner. Serpina. I bet he's going near post because that's what we do every time. He does and they sniffed it out. Needs Bielecki though, holds it in. Can we create something, or is that the end of the highlight? It is the end of the highlight. Right, we've created a couple opportunities. See what we can build here. They're playing a pretty high line. Needs VHK, takes down the right sideline. Can you find the cross in? Got some numbers, lifts it up. Haresh is there, off the post. Looks like that was off the crossbar. And that's a foul on Stechik. A rash chance to be a hero. The young 18-year-old Ukrainian. Orzhiniak, though. Loses it. Robel. Kalinsky. Back out to Serpina. Our leading assist man this season. Crosses one in. Falls to Horesh. He's missed two now. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. European football on the line here, and silverware. Chance to do a double in our first season. When we were picked to finish ninth at the beginning of the year of the second division, this would be huge. Orzhiniak. And Marchevka. He's got Horesh on his own, takes the shot. 
He's offside anyways, but he's missed three sitters early in this game. Rush is not playing up to the big game standard right now. That was a shocking pass from Serpina. What can we do here? Rush, good defensive move there. Kalinsky, can he find the pass through? Tries to play needs Vyechki, but it's sniffed out by the Rook defense. Pilechki lifts it upfield into the hands of Serpina. Feet, rather. Robel now. Can he find a pass? Marchevka takes a shot on his own. Was the, Either that one was saved or it's off the bar, but we can just not finish today. So we need to get a little closer. Let's go work the ball in the box. Curse the team. God, 1.76 XG in this half. One minute of stoppage time here. We're going to get one last highlight. We're going to play it out of the back. Gabriel Alfonso hasn't played very good. Plays it through to Haresh. Can he find Marchevka? He's there. And another miss. This is painful. I want a better display. Keep going. You weren't that bad. Not good enough in the final third. I don't want to change too much, though. Probably bring on Pizarchuk for Afonso. Or Zhiniak isn't doing anything. We're going to put him on attack. Push him up the field. It's all us. We're going to go positive. Marchevka to Haresh. Robo in the midfield. Warzhiniak. Can he slip a ball through? Haresh on his own. Haresh misses another one. He's on 6.7 and he's missed like three setters. So his movement is good. His position is good. Defensive corner here. Can we head it away? We're going to have a shot at the edge of the box. Falls to Podstavsky and we're down 2 nothing. <sighs> Unlucky. Straczynski. Nedic finds Stech. I thought Stechik was going to take it. Horesh misses the tackle. Podstavsky somehow finds a far post hit. And we are down 2 nothing. We got a defensive corner here. Our center backs aren't playing very good. We're going to make some changes here. Orzhiniak's playing garbage. And he's gone. Get rid of him. Winger, attack. Attacking both wings. I'm taking Horesh off. He's been terrible today. Let's go watch Yachovsky. We'll swap these two around. Yeah, Warana's going to come in as well. No, we'll leave it for now. Tra I want to bring on Trachik and Warana, but... We're going attacking. We're going press. Long kicks. Push the line up. Forget this, it's not working. Dang. Tratchet, get in there. Yeah, Warana, go ahead. For Magdiak. Serpina. Robo can get a ball across. Niedviechki's in an okay spot. Falls to Kalinski, who scores it, and he's coming out right after this. That's okay, but we pull one back. That's okay. I'd rather have Trash again. 
even though he's a little injured. Kolinsky just hasn't produced very much this season. He does grab the goal here, though. Cross from Rubble. Goes a little wide. Need Bielecki, though. Good header down. Kolinsky's in a good spot. Bielecki can't save that one. We're back in it. Let's see what we can do here. And the old man goes down. Holy crap, go in the middle. Here, just pretend like you're a number 10. We might be able to get a sub in at half time, or if we make it to extra time. Actually, I don't think so. I don't think that's a rule in this. But that's annoying, we're down to 10 men. We have a corner here though, Robo whips it in. Kawasa onto the bar. One of those games. Just one of those games, nearly 3xG. We're going very attacking. Push up the lines. Unlucky. Shouldn't have taken Harash off. Two minutes left, and Rook Hortsov have held us out of Europe. They win the FA Cup. The first ever Silesian FA Cup goes to Rook Hortsov. They get the Conference League. Feel like we deserve a little bit more out of that game. But it is what it is. We still got promoted. We're still up to the Premier League next year. Instead of getting 1.2 million prize money, we get 200k, which isn't half bad. But we are about half a million in debt, so that would have been really nice too. I feel like we deserved it. Yeah, we deserved it. It was a good effort. We hit the post a few too many times, but... That is going to be that. This guy's out. He's got a hip injury. I'm not renewing his contract anyways, I've decided. So he's done. I'm not paying any money to you. Sorry. Don't worry about your injury. 2K, we get 20K for losing in the final. Pay out 10.5K. Biggest overachievers were us, definitely the second division side. But we have won the title in the second division. We're promoted. We'll be in the top division next season. There's one game left. Looks like Rook Hartsov has qualified because they won the cup. Bonico Strava has qualified. Slosk Vrotsov has a chance to win the league in the last game of the season. Bonico Strava plays Podbeskidzia. But that's going to do it for this episode. We'll finish all this stuff out, and then we'll be back for next season. I'll catch you up on what all happened in the transfer window. Things are looking pretty good for us, though. We're, we're turning the corner. we got a lot of wages and transfer budget to play with, build this team up, make another good run next year, see if we can't qualify for Europe next season. But one title is down. One bit of silverware. I had a chance for the second, but it wasn't meant to be. But... Thanks for hanging out in Silesia. Please hit like, please hit subscribe, it helps me out. And thanks a lot for watching.